push, pull and open furniture to find guests, money and hidden objects. The vacuum adds further interactions both in capturing ghosts as well as revealing hidden objects. The main mode has you retrieving pieces of the shattered dark moon crystals by seeking them out in the five haunted mansion locations. There's a cooperative multiplayer mode that can be played locally or online via Nintendo Network. This offers a download play option so multiple people can play with one copy of the game. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon was developed by Next Level Games and published by Nintendo. It retailed at $39.99 but can be found at a reduced price due to its age. It should take around 20 hours to finish the main campaign, while the multiplayer will extend playtime considerably, as well as collecting every hidden object. In the UK and Europe, Peggy Waits' Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is suitable for persons aged 7 years and over. It contains pictures and sounds likely to be scary to young children. Also, players can fire seeds at plant creatures, set off cartoony explosions and shoot spiked balls at enemies. Characters whoop or squeal in a whimsical manner when they take damage. One sequence depicts a large monster that emits flatulent sounds and throws balls of slime at Luigi. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon plays to its horror themes well without becoming overly dark. There are creepy overtones throughout, but this is more Sunday matinee style than anything psychologically disturbing. Dark Moon is a superbly produced handheld game that easily matches many full console experiences. Not only is the central mechanic well implemented, it also develops intelligently as the game progresses. Small touches like the flash of Luigi's torch, the original DS styled communicator, or even Luigi's nervous whistling while he creeps around the haunted mansions give the game a sense of finesse. Each level is like a fresh world in miniature to explore and to conquer. 